Reforming of the judicial system is the main requirement of the International Monetary Fund to continue cooperation with Ukraine and provide the next tranche. The documents, which have already been approved by the parliament in the first reading, should unblock the work of the High Qualification Commission of Judges and the High Council of Justice. This will allow starting the purification of the judiciary and organizing effective control of the decency of judges, officials say. This is to ensure the restoration of confidence in the High Council of Justice on the part of the Ukrainian society and the effective performance by this constitutional body of its functions. As for the service of disciplinary inspectors, they should become an auxiliary element, mechanism that will provide professional training in all cases that are considered by the High Council of Justice. According to experts, it is the judicial reform that is fundamental for the IMF, since without it, money and business in the country cannot be protected. While the courts are making decisions by the call or for money, investments in our economy will not come, not only foreign but even domestic. And if there is no investment in Ukraine, it means that there will be no economic growth in Ukraine. Accordingly, what's the point in the IMF program then? Another important area that our Western partners are paying attention to is the stability and independence of the banking system. The Parliament has already in the first reading approved bills on corporate governance in banks, bankruptcy procedures for financial institutions and expanding the rights of the deposit guarantee fund. During the history of the fund, more than 4 billion US dollars were identified as those that were withdrawn from the bank to the institutions in the interests of creditors by persons related to banks. The Deposit Guarantee Fund needs tools to prove these cases now and to respond quickly to such abuses in future. Besides, among the requirements of the IMF are the reform of corporate governance of state-owned enterprises and the creation of a competition committee to appoint head of the National Anti-Corruption Bureau. The MPs plan to consider all the necessary documents next plenary week, if the opposition does not block their approval by filibustering. Perhaps there will be extraordinary meetings the next plenary week if we do not keep pace with the package of judicial reform or banking reform. We have there a second reading on High Qualification Commission and Judges of Ukraine on High Council of Justice. There are 700 amendments, but there is no filibustering, so we do not expect destructive actions there. We also have a banking law that is spammed. We'll wait for the will of our colleagues from the opposition factions. If all conditions are met, Ukraine can expect the next tranche from the IMF already in the fall. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Yulia Kruchkova, UATV News.